are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. Hello, mommy doggy. Mindy, you should have your mommy. Mindy, Mindy. Mindy, Mindy. Okay, so there's something quite weird going on here. What's going on? <laughs> what are you doing? Stiamo metto facendo un vestito per Holly. So Holly has been chewing on herself and it's really really raw and it's like on her one of her back legs here and she keeps chewing it. I tried putting a cone on her and she unfortunately stops functioning. She literally doesn't move if you put one of those on her, she doesn't go out or anything. So we've decided we're going to put clothes on her so she can't, <laughs> so she can't chew herself. I think they have to do an operation or something. <laughs> Poor little doggy! So this is what we're dealing with. She starts chewing on a tiny little something and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So the only way to stop her is to cover it. She has been to the vet. She's been completely checked out. She's one of the healthiest dogs they've ever seen. She just has these funny little anxiety moments where she gets very very worried and starts chewing on herself don't you so we're gonna put her little cone back on for now and she'll just have to sit there i'll demonstrate what she does when we've got when we, when we put this on her she literally doesn't move from where you put her she just stops functioning which can happen with dogs um, and also because she's very short she can't really walk with it because it touches the ground so she can't do the steps so if i go and put her out in the garden she won't move from there now. She literally will not move. Come on. Come on. Me fa morire. Dai, non sei legata all'albero, puoi camminare. Vieni. Chi ti sta venendo? Uh, si sta muovendo, eccola. Oh. Non ce la fa. What happened? She can't walk with this because it's too she's too short. With the cloak. 
it shares trips on it. Oh, you took the t-shirt off, you got Yeah, we've got to sew it now. Alright, come on then, let's go and put you on the sofa. She will not move from there. I look like crap at the moment, by the way, because I had the worst migraine of my life last night. Thought I was gonna die. I actually threw up and I was trembling. It was horrible, but it's over now and I just feel a bit like weak, so I haven't got dressed yet. Should we make you a little outfit? Oh, gee, she's so sad. Now, some of you may be surprised to know that Carlo is the master sewer, tailor. Sarto <laughs> in Italian. Okay, maybe that's a bit exaggerated. Sì, diciamo che questo è qualcosa da aggiustare, no? Anzi, in questo caso da trasformare. Facciamo diventare una maglia per una persona, per un vestitino per uh, Olli. Quindi io sono l'uomo da sposare. Peccato per gli altri che io sono già sposato. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's in the blood of all the Positanese. They all know how to sew and use a sewing machine. And I think they're just born knowing how to do that because I certainly was not born knowing how to do any of that. Although I can crochet. In fact, in the sewing box, there's a little... Okay, that's really a really bad example of me crocheting. But let me just show you. An example of my crocheting. So I crocheted this bed throw about 10, 12, no, even 13 years ago and it's pure wool, it's extremely heavy, but I'm very, very proud of it. And I also have crocheted. These are some of the little animals that I, animals and little dolls that I crocheted. Um, the rabbit never got finished, she hasn't got any arms. Um, and there was quite a lot of these little dolls that Sky used to play with, um, but I don't know where any of them are anymore now, so those are a few. Okay, non ho fatto un capolavoro, ma l'intenzione è solo che lei non si tocca più qua con la lingua e si finisce di rovinare. Vediamo un po' se funziona. She's embarrassed. There we go, happy puppy, now eating her food as well. It is the next day and we need to go into town and do a few errands. I've got about five different places I need to stop off at. And we're gonna leave Holly here with Sky. I better tell her that I'm going. And we're gonna take Indy with us so she gets out for a bit and has some exercise. Sky, yeah? we're going uh, to Go around town and do some errands and stuff, okay? Okay, having dinner here at lunch, yeah? Yeah, we will. We'll be back for lunch. Might be late, but we'll be back for lunch. Abbiamo il tempo contato perché è già mezzogiorno e alcuni negozi chiudono uh, verso l'una e mezza. This is one of the things that I will possibly never get used to, even though I've been in Italy for over 24 years is the fact that everything comes to a halt between about 1 and 4.30, 5, depending on where you are. Um, it's midday, so yes, we've got one hour to get everything done. So I think I'm going to have to do it in a different order from what I was hoping, otherwise we won't get it all done <laughs> before everything shuts. Ho capito bene, hai detto tutto chiude all'una e mezza. Sì. No, ma non è vero. I ristoranti sono aperti tutto il giorno. E I negozi di alimentari giù sono aperti tutto il giorno. Però nei dintorni hanno un orario perché siccome qui si lavora a conduzione familiare, cioè sono piccoli negozi e lavorano stessa la famiglia e ce l'hanno diritto a qualche ora di riposo per il pranzo e poi riaprono dopo e stanno aperti fino alle 9 di sera. Yeah, there's no such thing as a part-time job here, so they don't have part-time workers, so they have to shut to have time off for themselves. Um, most people know it as the siesta, but it's it's yeah also because otherwise they wouldn't have any time off because there's nobody to work part time. <laughs> Sto provando a essere un uomo moderno, adesso ce l'ho la borsa perché questo pantalone non ha le tasche laterali. Non posso mettere tutto qua dentro, sennò sembro strano. Quindi ho preso una piccola borsa di Sky. Di Sky, of course. Poi penserò, se mi trovo bene, penserò a comprarne una per me, una più maschile. 
No, ho preso questo pantalone senza tasche perché recentemente ho fatto un po' di spese, ho comprato qualche vestito, lo faccio uh, una volta ogni paio d'anni <ride> e ho comprato dei pantaloni senza tasca perché sono più carini da vedere ma ahimè sono meno pratici, no? Che io porto sempre tante cose dietro, tipo questa e niente, se volete dopo vi faccio vedere Uh, farò una passerella dei vestiti nuovi che ho comprato. Yeah, let's have a Carlo fashion show, why not? We went to a shopping mall in Pompeii, which is about an hour's drive away from here. And there's not a great selection of shops, but it was enough. And he got quite a few things, so we'll have a fashion show when we get home. How about that? Something different. So the hilarious thing is, yesterday they painted these stripes for parking. E today devono scavare qui perché si è rotto un cavo che passa proprio qua sotto. <laughs> Eravamo già in ritardo, figurati adesso. Yeah, we're not gonna get everything done, no way. It's already quarter past 12 now. Yeah, we're driving on the <laughs> driving on the English side today. So a couple of years ago I came here to Creo and Crescenzo made me a pair of sunglasses and he made these incredible sunglasses out of wood and they're all different and you can have any style you want. So I brought in my favorite pair of sunglasses and said can you copy these and he handcrafted a brand new pair of sunglasses for me in the color I wanted because you can choose between all these colors here and you can choose what color lenses you want and you can even have a little name or dedication burnt onto the inside of the arm so I had Vicky Positano on mine and then unfortunately a few months later somebody ate them <laughs> <laughs> and they don't have them anymore she literally chewed them to pieces and that was my fault for leaving them somewhere that she could get to so I've just popped in here today because my um, other sunglasses are very loose and I don't have anything to tighten them up, it's fixing them for me. Like if you're here in Positano and you want a pair of handmade sunglasses in the exact style that you would like, come here. We are at the Sponda, so just walking up from the main square um, towards the bus stop for Amalfi or Sorrento and you'll find a little shop here and you can get your sunglasses made for you to order. This is not problem. Ah, sì, sono già, non sono più wobbly. <laughs> And they're tighter as well now, because before it's still like a dentist. Grazie mille, thank you very much. No problem, no problem. Carla has started chatting, and it's just gone one, and we've got two more shops to go to. I don't think we're going to make it. Although often the grocery stores do stay open until about half one, so maybe we will be lucky. So what time do you open? Uh, usually it's uh, from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and I don't close, I eat here, but, and, but I do it because I like it. It's not 12 hours is a long time. No, do you have a day off? I, when I want, yes. When okay. I want, I ask my boss, which is me, uh, if I want to go on a swim, and uh, if he decides so, I go. It's okay. <laughs> okay, we have actually already been to the pharmacy and the butchers, and we didn't really film much because it was just so hectic down there. And now it is 10 past one. Which way around does this go? 
and uh, this is a big helmet. This is actually size small, but it's massive, and it fits on top of my hat, which is great. And um, so now we're going to try and dash back up to the top of the town and get to the grocery store before it closes, probably at half one. Siamo arrivati all'ultimo minuto. <ride> Ma non ci hanno cacciato via, ci stanno facendo fare la spesa. Grazie Luisa. We did it, we got everything we need. It is half past one and we can now go home and have a late lunch. Now, where are we going to park? Vado su e vado a scavare allora. Ok. Let's go. Qui possiamo vedere bene dove è iniziata la pianta di patate, è iniziata da questa, questa è una patata vecchia che ha messo Luca mesi fa ed è cresciuta una nuova pianta con tutte le patate vicino. I'm going to make a classic Italian potato salad, I think, classic Italian. Um, potatoes, tomatoes, olives, tuna and red onion. And I might stick some green beans in there, but I won't because I don't have any green beans in there to stick in. But if I did, I would. Qualche volta può capitare che in alcune frutte e ortaggi capita di vedere delle, come devo dire, delle cose anatomiche eh, maschili o femminili e in questo caso direi che questo è un attributo maschile.